Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hey! So can you buy a waterfront home in the Florida Keys where you can put your boat without breaking the bank? Or can you buy an RV lot on waterfront where you can park your RV whenever you want to and then rent it out when you're not here? Or is there a place where you can just bring your RV and your boat down and have an awesome place to camp with your family and go on vacation? Well, if you're asking any of those questions, we've got a treat for you today. We're gonna answer all three of those questions and we're gonna show it to you all in one place. Come along with us, we're gonna show you Venture Out. Venture Out has all sorts of um, different setups in here. You've got homes, uh, you've got RV lots, uh, you've got some folks that are actually living in their RVs here, some that are just here vacationing. Uh, but these lots in here are for sale, whether it has a home or it has an RV on it. And uh, you actually buy the lot itself and uh, all different varying prices that you can check. You can call Laurie and I, and we'll give you the prices on everything that's for sale in here. All right, so we're coming by the, they got two big, nice wide boat uh, ramps here for you can launch your boat. They've got uh, fuel right there, ethanol free, uh, Rec 90 fuel for sale right there. Prices are pretty good right now. They've got a uh, ship store right there to get your supplies, things you need. So if you buy a lot in here, guys, uh, a lot of these lots do have building permits on them. You would want to check with us on, on that to make sure that we uh, can verify that for you. But um, buildable lots in here, which means you can build a home on it. You don't just have to uh, put your RV on it. Um, and if you build a new home in here, the new codes uh, require that you build the home up high on stilts uh, well above the floodplain. So if you're building a new home, it's gonna have to be these stilt style homes that you see like that one right in front of us there versus the one to the right right there. It will have to be a stilt home like that one if you're building a new one. Uh, there are some older homes already built in here like this one right here in front of me. Those are called mid-rise homes and um, those, those were built a while back they are grandfathered in. You can still buy those in here, but you, if you're building, you have to build higher. As you can see, you can also put your RVs uh, on these lots. Look at this beautiful lot right out on the corner, looking right out over the water out here. Pretty, pretty lot. So you can own one of these lots, come down, put your RV on it and uh, you can stay in your RV and then when you get ready to leave, you can rent out your space and uh, have someone else making you a little money back on your space when you're, when you're not here. So really a cool setup down here. So guys, this is the uh, community pool area and it's beautiful. They've got bathhouses over here with showers, uh, tons of picnic area over there with everything you need to come out here and have a big picnic bring the family pool area over here right out on the water palm trees looking right out over the water what more could you ask for gorgeous gorgeous and the pool area right here looks uh, right out over the marina area and that's right out here in front of us. You got a sectioned off area for swimming. We saw people out there swimming laps earlier today. And you can see the ship store and the boat ramps over there that we rode by a minute ago. So plenty of room, plenty of seawall, um, plenty of area to get in here, get your boat fueled up, get iced up, get bait, everything you need and get your boat turned around and then it's straight out over there and out the channel. So they've got basketball courts, they've got tennis courts here, a bunch of them. They've got bocce ball, shuffleboard, 
all sorts of things here to do. So this lot on our right with the Mobile Suites RV on it is for sale. And the RV is not for sale, but uh, it is sold separately. I don't know if they're selling it separately. It doesn't come with the lot, but that lot right there uh, will run you $289,000. And you can see behind it, it has 35 feet of seawall where you can park your boat pretty little area out there behind it so back here on the back behind the lot this is what it looks like beautiful area to keep your boat little picnic table right there step down RV just sits right backed up to it beautiful spot right here nice big wide canal 60 feet wide canals and you can see down there at the end straight out straight out to the channel and you are uh, headed offshore doing some mahi fishing that's right and, <laughs> and very clean canals because of yeah. the bubblers they put up the front yeah yeah it's got a lot of the, i mean not all the weed but it keeps a lot of it out yeah. yeah yeah they do have the bubble fences at the end of each canal that keeps the weeds out of here and keeps this clean right, guys so another little note of interest inside here uh, you do have a homeowners association in in here uh, it is relatively inexpensive for association fees here in the Florida Keys. It runs, uh, I think it's $786 every quarter. Uh, don't quote me to the penny on that, but I think it's real close, $785, $786 a quarter. Um, and I'll try to put that information in the description for you so you can see that. But uh, that's per quarter, so you got very low association fees. Um, the homeowners association and the management here does take care of all the common areas they even take care of the sea walls behind the houses um, basically you just take care of your your little space that you buy and your home of course um, insurance on the stilted homes uh, is relatively inexpensive as well because they're well up above floodplain so they do pretty well on insurance hey guys here's another little lot for sale where that puma camper is right there right there as a comparison to the waterfronts that little lot right there if i don't wreck my bike trying to show it <laughs> that lot right there it's next to the road it's not on the water and you can get that lot for one hundred and thirty four thousand dollars right now so that's kind of the difference between the waterfront lots and uh, the dry lots in price 134 here 289 across the street on the water <laughs> Hey guys, one thing to keep in mind, uh, if you're enjoying these videos and uh, you like to follow along with Laurie and I, uh, you know, Laurie just got her real estate license. I've had mine for a while now and we can represent you down here as buyer's agents. Uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Those commissions are already built in from the listing agent and they offer us a, a uh, commission to bring buyers. Uh, so you can actually you can actually have Laurie and I help you find your home, represent you down here, um, look out for your best interest in your purchase, and uh, it doesn't cost you anything different than if you were to call the listing agent directly. So, so if you'd like to, to work with, with Laurie and I, we would love to work with you, find you a place down here. All right, guys, so we're going to show you uh, one of the homes in here that they call a mid-rise home. Uh, it's not way up on stilts like the other one that we're going to show you, but uh, it is elevated off the ground. I'm not sure how high. It looks like it might be about five, six feet. But uh, it's a mid-rise home. It's two bedrooms, two baths, 898 square feet on the water with 35 feet of uh, dockage right off your back porch. So let's go in and check this one out. All right, let's go see it. It has a great porch up here for looking out over the channel. And I feel like there's probably enough room for a, a nice little round picnic table out here. Yeah. Um, outdoor table. I would think so. Or some loungers just to sit out here and enjoy the, the view. That's pretty cool. Um, so we have a sliding glass door. And it opens up to a open area living room, kitchen, dining room, which we always like. We don't like closed off spaces and this one has some really good space in here and did you see the view out the out the window yeah, let's look yeah 
You can sit from inside and see out there and see the channel and the ocean. So some cool things about this little kitchen. I love this big bar. That is nice for sitting because we like to eat at the bar a lot and have friends over and you know serve some appetizers and things like that. Um, does actually have a dishwasher, which is good. Opens up just like that. Dishes, dishes done. Cool. Looks like a good refrigerator there. Um, storage over here. This adds a lot of extra storage to your cabinets. Um, and there are cabinets under here too. So you've got a lot of storage space under there. Definitely could store a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like that track light. That's pretty cool. Shines on everything. And so they don't take up too much space. They use a stackable washer and dryer, which is good. So you don't have a whole lot of space in here for a whole laundry room. But you do have a place to put your towels, detergents, and all that good stuff. They have a cute little bathroom. Come in here and see this. Cozy little bathroom. But it has a little bit of counter space and a little shelf space because you know us women like to have our stuff sprayed out here. <laughs> In this bedroom, they've got a pull-out couch. So, but you could do, you know, one of those um, big, it's a bed down below that's a full-size bed and then a bunk on top. Mm -hmm. So that would be good for this room too. It actually has a little door right here that you can go outside. Got a little porch. Check your weather. Put your chair out here if you need some sunshine. Your vitamin D is really important. So we've got that. I like this little porch. I do too. All right. All right, let's go see the master. And here, here's the master. Um, got, I think, plenty of room for a king size bed, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. this is probably a, a full or a queen, but you could definitely put a king size bed in here. Oh yeah. Still have room. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room on the sides. Closet space in here. Yep. And an, do you call this an ensuite bathroom? That is an ensuite bathroom. Well, here it is. And it has a bigger shower um, with a bench. I like that for shaving my legs or sitting down and you know, cleaning whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to clean. Yeah. Out on your toenails or you got to clean things. You got to clean some stuff. <laughs> All right. Here's the storage space that I was talking about. Looks like they've got a table and some chairs in here. Oh, the tools. Got all the tools. <clears throat> and um, it's all concrete down here. So nice and clean. And yeah. they've got bicycles back here. You got to duck down a little bit, but it goes the whole well, length of the house underneath. But see, now I can stand up right here in between the yeah. things. So, I mean, it's not yeah. horrible. It's, it's not bad. Definitely mm -hmm. doable space wise. You just wise. have to duck a few places. Yeah. But yeah. They got room for ladders, bicycles, and you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got plenty of storage underneath here to get your stuff out of the way. Yep. Laurie and I are at a, uh, a high-rise, what they call a high-rise stilt home here in Venture Out, and uh, it is for sale. Uh, it is listed with another brokerage. Laurie and I can help you with this house. Mm -hmm. All the information is in the video description below the video, so make sure you check that so you can see how to get in touch with us and get the information. But we're going to take a look inside, show you around this house, tell you all about it. Come along with us. We hope you enjoy it. Hey, baby. Hey, we're at a new house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
This is a pretty house too. All right, let's go check out this house. Now, I have to say, I love this blue and white tile in here. It is so, um, I don't know, keysy. It reminds me a little bit of a old fashioned tile, but modern at the same time. Maybe it's just cause it's beachy and yeah, I just I like, like the beachy too. stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a nice big living room in here, big TV. And um, they told us that this house actually comes furnished. Pretty much everything you see in here is going with the house. Yeah. Which means you're just moving ready or vacation ready. Yeah. She says fully furnished, has a whole house generator, so you're set up for storms. Mm -hmm. um, everything you see comes yeah. with it, fully furnished, ready to go. And mm -hmm. uh, this would make a wonderful uh, vacation rental property. It would. These houses in here are rentable all the way down to nightly. Yes. She said, yeah. You can do one day at a time. You can do one, as, one as short as a one night rental and then as long as you want, which is, is pretty special in the Keys because most of the Keys are 28 nights minimum. Mm -hmm. Marathon, Key Colony Beach, and a few other outlying areas are 20 uh, or seven night rentals. But here at Venture Out, you actually can do short as one night rentals. So huge uh, rental investment property here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah. I like a double door refrigerator like we have at home. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Pretty little kitchen. <clears throat> it is a pretty kitchen. Oh, flat cooktop here. Yeah. All right. What's behind closet? Door number one. It is the washer and dryer. Nice, Your little laundry nice. closet room. Very nice. It looks like a relatively new. I mean, top loader. Dryer yeah. looks nice. Um. Anyway, we have a linen closet towel, linen towel closet right there. And look at this, honey. This bathroom is actually painted the same color as our kitchen at home, or yep. half of our kitchen. It is. It is. It's a coral. Maybe ours is a little more coral. But the other cool thing is, and you know I find these silly little things, but look at this shower curtain. I love this, and I actually had it as a shower curtain a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes me happy. Yeah. Um, but there's a sit-in bathtub, in case you need a good long soak after a hard day of fishing. And lots of counter space for us ladies to put all our makeup and hair stuff on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the guest room. That's the that guest, guest bathroom. bathroom yeah. yeah, guest bathroom. Um, and here is the secondary bedroom. And I just love all their decor, and it's so fun. It's going with it. That's great. So you've got room for this, and you actually probably could do two bunk beds if you wanted to get really yeah. Yeah. tight and fit a lot of people in. Yeah, you could. And good heavy doors. Yep, it's like all impact storm doors. Mm-hmm. So your AC and your full house generator is out here, which is very handy to keep it and. Yeah, nice little porch. You can check out what the weather's doing and actually see the canal over there. Yeah, you got the water out the front, water out the back. Mm -hmm. Great location. That is. So let's go see the master bedroom. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And I also have a thing for parrots. I love parrots. Had a parrot one time. One like that on the left, actually. Um, but nice big bedroom. Look, you've got room for a king size bed again because you know I'm against um, Mark and I sleeping in a little bed. We got to have king size because I like to spread out. He likes to spread out. Has counter space, little shelf here, and it has a shower with a little bench seat so you can clean your whatevers again shave your legs that's nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this flooring I like this I think this would be really easy to keep clean and um, but not as cold as tile even though I like tile but this would be a little warmer than tile feels warmer to me mm -hmm. 
beautiful view from up here. Oh, see you can the, actually see the yeah, you can see the ocean, ocean out, out there. Be out beyond the canal. Did you look in his cooler too? There's an even bigger one. So we've got a storage room here. Let's go check that out. Ooh. You've got space for your grill to keep it out of the weather and a big freezer, lots of shelf space, kayaks, bicycles, I think we could fit our stuff in here. Yep. Oh, look. Hang up your rods there. Let's see. Can't you? I mean, it doesn't have other support, but would that yeah. work? Yeah. Yeah, that's a rod rod mm -hmm. rack. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got a little workbench. You could fiddle around, fix things like you do all the time. Yep. <laughs> so this uh, high-rise stilt home behind me is uh, one of the only, if not the only right now, uh, available in Venture Out down here for sale. And uh, the price on that house that you just saw is $560,000. Uh, that's at the time of this filming. Obviously things change, so make sure you check the description or call us if you want the latest information on the house and what the pricing is doing at the time and the status on the house. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the tour of those homes for sale here in uh, Venture Out on Cudjo Key in the Florida Keys. And if you guys are interested in either of those homes or any of the RV lots that you saw in the other video, uh, be sure to reach out to Laurie and I. We would love to help you with those. We'll get you all the information and would love to be your buyer's agents here in the Florida Keys. So thanks for watching the channel, guys, and we'll see you next time on Gables on the Go. See you later.